we are going to discuss the conflicts in the body of Christ, the mispresentation of God's word in the body of Christ, whether ladies are permitted to be wearing trousers and necklace. Some say that ladies, that is women, are not permitted to be wearing trousers. Some agree that wearing trousers is not a sin. Some say that women are not permitted to wear necklace. Even men are not permitted to wear necklace. All these are controversies and mispresentation of scripture. But today we are going to discuss on this issue based according to the written word of God not according to what any pastor said not according to what any belief or any religion said not according to what any denomination agree or disagree but based on what god says in the bible please subscribe to my youtube channel and follow me on my facebook page don't forget to share the video share it to as many as you can join hands together with me to save lives Hallelujah. There is a misconfusing verse of scripture to many people. There is that misunderstanding scripture in the Bible. This Deuteronomy chapter 22 verse 5 have caused a lot of confusion in the body of Christ. Because people did not understand exactly what the Spirit of God is saying in that place. And that is why there are many conflicts, many disagreement among Christians. What do the Bible say in that Deuteronomy chapter 22 verse 5? The Bible said, Man should not wear that that pertained to a woman, and the woman should not wear that that pertained to a man. Whosoever that doeth this is an abomination unto the Lord. And some people went after reading this Bible verse, they conclude that God don't want women to be wearing trousers. Some people, after reading this verse of the scripture, they say that according to their own understanding, that women should not be wearing trousers, and that men should not be wearing skirts. I want to tell us that the Bible did not talk about trousers in that passage of the scripture, because during those days, there was nothing like trousers. And they, everybody, men and women in those days, we are wearing long gown. That is to say, night long gown like women clothes. With Jesus himself was among that wore that long gown. Everybody was wearing it there. So, if they said that the women should not wear that that pertained to a man, and man should not wear that that pertained to a woman, and in those days, everybody wear long gown. Does it mean that Jesus has committed sin? Or does it mean that people that are wearing it in those days are going to hell? No, that is not what the Bible is telling us there. I want to tell us that Moses was a natural prophet. His calling was not limited to pulpit. Satan has limited many prophets of God today only on the pulpit. They cannot have anything to contribute to national. They cannot have anything to say to, their, to, to, to a, a country. They cannot advise soldiers in their country. But Moses was not limited to ordinary pulpit. He wasn't an ordinary pulpit prophet. He was a national prophet. That was the instruction that Moses gave to the soldiers of Israel. Because according to the tradition, women should not go to war, even up to now. According to Jewish tradition, women are not permitted to go to war. So Moses gathered the, the soldiers, gathered the whole children of Israel, the whole Jews, and said, according to the laws of God, women are not permitted to go to war. The soldiers, soldiers, the Bible used there, soldiers, not ordinary man, not gender. The Bible did not use gender there. If we read it with the Hebrew translation, it was soldier ordinary soldier that was instruction he was giving to nations and said that moses said to them if you are not a soldier you are not permitted to put on soldier garment and the soldiers you are not permitted to put on women garment for anyone that do that is an abomination unto god and in those days soldiers used to wear that 
warrior clothes even when they were on their bed even when they were sleeping even when they were eating even when they were anywhere going to market they must put it on because they must be ready all the time because their enemy can come in the midnight they will just receive a whistle or trumpet they will jump off so they will not be wasting time and finding their clothes finding their their clothes in order to go for war so they are always ready you remember the statement of jesus Jesus said, we should, must be always ready. Jesus said, we must be always ready because we don't know the time the Lord will come, whether in the morning or in the night or in the midnight. But he said that every one of us must always be ready. So Jesus used this, the, the language of soldier, of warrior, who always ready for the battle. So now, Women that are not permitted to go to war, it is not allowed to put on that warrior garment. That is what the Bible said here. So there is nothing like God did not want women to be wearing trousers. No, it is a wrong presentation of God's word. Bible never says so. According to Bible, he said that in the, in the mouth of two or three shall the law be established. In the mouth of two or three shall the matter be sealed. There is no any other place in the scripture you will see anything related to that verse, Deuteronomy chapter 22, verse 5. And according to the scripture, anything you did not see two to three to four places in the scripture is not a doctrine. So now, it means that what God says is different from what you, how you understand it. So God did not say that women should not wear trousers. In as much as we know there are some trousers that ladies are wearing, there are some trousers that women are wearing that is a sedu seductive trouser, that is a trouser that is like nylon, that is displaying their nakedness, that one is contrary to God's law. It is, it, is, it is not permitted in God's kingdom because you cannot be seducing men. You cannot wear trousers that will show your, your, your body, show your secret parts everywhere. It's not advice is not allowed in the kingdom of god to say that women are not permitted to be wearing trousers is not scriptural number two many preachers preach and say that wearing of necklace wearing of jewelry wearing of uh, wearing of necklace wearing of earring wearing of bangles and wearing of uh, uh, making use of gold and silver is a sin before god but i want to advise you i want to correct that misunderstanding here Wearing of necklace, wearing of gold and jewelry is not a sin unto God. It's not a sin. Why do I say so? Because I know that in New Jerusalem, the heaven where every one of us are believing that we are going there, the New Jerusalem we are looking, the New Jerusalem we are believing that is going to come down from the throne of God. Do you understand that the Bible said that everything in heaven is built up with gold? all the mansions in heaven all the decoration in heaven everything in heaven anything at all at all you can see in heaven is all all of gold everything are you saying to me that the lord will give you sin when you go there are you telling me that the gold in heaven is a sin or the gold in heaven is different from the gold on earth no they are not different if gold is a sin unto god God will not use it to build house for us. So everyone, every child of God are planning to go to heaven, automatically know that he or she is going to live in a golden house. A house furnished and built from the foundation to the roof to the decoration, all made of gold. So if it's a sin, God will not build heaven with gold for us. And when you say it's a sin to make use of gold, which means you are not permitted to go to heaven, because if you go to heaven, it's a sin. And God can never give you sin. No, he can never give you sin. And some people say because the children of Israel, after God prospering them in the Egypt, in Egypt, after God had prospered children of Israel in Egypt, they, they turned their golden necklace turn their golden jewelry golden rings and the earrings and they turn them into golden calf and the worship calf and some people say because of that god have caused the whole gold in the world no for instance if god give you money and god give another person money 
The other person, God, gave money using his money to intimidate the poor ones, afflicting the less privileged, using it to do harm, causing havoc in the city, in a town, in a village. And you, God, also gave you money. You are using your own money to save lives. You are using your own money to take good care of the poor. You are using your own money to finance the gospel. You are using your own money to take care of the less privileged. Are you telling me that because God give this person money give you the same money that the whole morning now that god is angry with you because another person is using his own to intimidate the less privileged that is how it is in this area god has prospered children of israel with gold and silver because it is a, he, he is a lovely god god wants every child of god every of his child every of his son every of his daughter to live a wealthy and prosperous life and the God they tried to demonstrate it by giving them good in abundance. Remember that not only good, God gave children of Israel. God gave them silver in abundance, gave them good in abundance, and also gave them money in abundance. After giving them this threatening, God, after that, went ahead and fed them for 40 years. So they kept their silver, kept their gold, kept their money, because God wanted them to be so prosperous, so wealthy. That is what God said. What am I saying in today's teaching? God did not stop any child of God not to be wearing trousers as long as you dress very well. God did not say that wearing of gold and jewelry is a sin. It's not a sin. Let's try to remember and correct that fast. It's not a sin. And another thing, some people are saying, oh, when you come to church, you have to put her tie if you did not put her tie in the church you are committing sin it's a sin and uh, sometimes they normally put a scripture where bible said that women when they want to pray that they should cover their hair i know that bible said that women when they want to pray they should cover their hair and the bible the same bible said that it is a shame for a man to carry long hair so men are not permitted to carry long hair bible called it a shame you can imagine when you see a man that carried long hair like a woman. A man that carried long hair like a woman is a shame to that man. And that man has to bab it. And the Bible now makes us to understand that women, they are not supposed to bab that their hair. The Bible said that their hair is a covering to them. That their hair is a covering. So there are, there are misunderstandings of gospel in different churches. Some believe that women can leave their hair open inside church some disbelieve some say no women must cover their hair whenever they go to church what is my answer here if your faith carry you to leave your hair open believing that your hair your natural hair is a covering god gave to you that cover your hair according to scripture is very okay and if you also believe that it is not good for me to leave my hair open in the church i must cover it i must tie it do it is okay and because bible said that what you did not believe another person believe it bible said that as long as this person is not eating that meat you you are eating he is not eating it into the glory of god and you that is eating it you are eating it to the glory of god you are doing all in the name and for the glory of god is not a sin wearing of jewelry for the glory of god and not wearing of jewelry to the glory of God is not a sin. Eating to the glory of God and not eating to the glory of God is not a sin. Tying her tie to the glory of God and not tying the hair tie to the glory of God is not a sin. We must come to a place to understand God did not say that women should not wear trousers. God did not say that men and women should not be using jewelry. God did not say that leaving your hair without hair tie is a sin. We must balance this gospel. You are free to drop your suggestion and drop your comment. And any area you did not understand in this my teaching today, point that area and we get back to you. May the blessings of God be with you. Share this message to many people. Forward it to as many as you can. May the good Lord be with you. See you next time and bye for now.